Hey, how's it going YouTube? Domino Paris 41 here and I'm here at my locals with one of my good buddies, Lord Hafrican. Hey guys. Right here. So yeah, um, I don't, actually don't own a blood deck, but he actually is nice enough to profile this for you guys. So after, yeah. After much blood, sweat, and tears trying to find these cards. Yeah, no pun intended. No, yeah. pun very intended. <laughs> yeah. So so he's here to go ahead and show us, so uh, go ahead and take it so, away. So uh, obviously we'll start with the, the big parts, you know, for the blood. Uh, for the blood. For the blood. Uh, I mean, you, you really want to get onto the blood. You want to cross ride it as, much, as quickly as possible. Not nearly as quickly as possible, but I actually kind of sit on Vermillion a little bit longer. But, um, well, what's nice with the blood is um, also it's 11k, so you can easily put a 7k beyond it to hit those consistent 18k columns, which which I, I personally like the four bloods. I mean, some people say it's too much, but being able to consistently cross ride often and to uh, be able, have that solid 11k body is always Beneficial. Oh yeah, and then obviously the ultimate break is yeah. it's nuts. is nuts, man. It's nuts. Uh, other the other uh, four grade threes I'm running, obviously for Vermilion. Um, yeah. Move down a little bit, just fine. Yeah. Obviously, you want to cross ride, and Vermilion is not a bad Vanguard to be stuck in either because you can still use the limit break if you don't get a blood in your hand, and it's still really good. You can still wipe out front rows. Yeah. So not bad at all. I like it. That's why I'm running. I mean, four four is good. I recommended it for Lord Halfigan. Uh, I actually helped out. Me and Lord Halfigan, me. Uh, we we were actually working on this build together. Well, yeah, since, we, since I started building it, because one day I ended up getting four perfect guards. But, um, yeah. So the next one, um, grade twos. More dusty plasmas. Dusty. I mean, vermilion, vermilion support, 12Ks with vermilion or That's something a, out there. Pretty much a standard, I'd say. Pretty much standard. Um, um, the other, my other ones, for Garudas, you want that damage on flip. Um, especially with how I run this deck, I run a little bit more counterblast heavy oh, yeah. by not using, uh, and not just with the blood and vermilion. What's nice is that it helps give a little bit more added pressure. It's a nice good uh, card to even ride second uh, for your second turn. So I like it. He'll give constant pressure and makes these guys go off more consistently. Oh yeah. So and I like it. Another reason I have four of them, because I'm also running two, yeah, yeah. two Draconic Death Signs. Um, I've gotten a little bit of flag from some friends about why I'm running two Death Signs. I like told this guy to play it. I've been right and I've been running it with this. I like it a little bit better just because you can get rid of nasty things on their side of the field. Yeah. I mean you know, boosters or grade two that's being stupid. You just get rid of it outright. I mean it's simple as this. He addresses problems. Problems. And the thing is, too, you're not always going to consistently do this twice per turn. It's simple as that, you know, because yeah. um, you're hoping Garuda can hit or you can heal. So it's nice to use that spare counter blast for him as well, because sometimes you will have some spare counter blast and he addresses problems. I've, 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 sit on, I've sat on five open counter blasts before, and I've altered it broke and then gotten rid of a card. Okay, you know. So I've it's pretty good. It's a good answer. So uh, you know, I definitely, I still think he's very viable in this deck. I, I told it. this guy to play it. I've been playing it, so I love it. Uh, moving on to the great ones. Um, staple. More perfect guards. Hey, look, two new ones and two old ones. Because I'm classy like this. Let's keep it, let's keep it like that, I guess. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, um, obviously four vanillas because eight Ks. Very important. Uh, very important eight Ks. I like. Uh, you no, know, you gotta. I always, co I always confuse it with the great two vanilla for some reason. They all look the, time. the same. Good thing you're not playing them. Seriously. And so here comes my little different part. Three desert gunner Ryan's. Yeah, really good card. I like it. He stops interceptors when it comes out. It's a 7K. You know, not, not bad. Not great. Not bad. I mean, 7Ks are always good, and plus it helps set up Vermillion. Like if your opponent has a dead, uh, like a, uh, like maybe like a uh, a weak grade two, like a Nemin or something, you can just like stun it. That way, it's stuck on their field, so that it's gonna get Vermillion. No matter. You cannot what escape happens. the Vermillion. Yes. <laughs> um, and then uh, what I've been playing with lately, two Photon Bomber Wyverns. They don't come out as nearly as much as they should, but Standard. again. 10k, 10k booster. Standard. And then finishing it off, two damage inflictors. You have to. Helps. People, you have to. People will keep you at three or four, depending, so they can avoid the limit break. So, bam, yeah. you're gonna take it anyway. No choice. So That's now, now we're getting to uh, my triggers. These are fun because obviously, you know, four heals. Four heal. Oh yeah. Four heals. Yeah. We four heal. like we like healing. I like healing. I'm running. Seven. Seven crit. crit. Seven crit. Seven crit. It's a little weird, you know. But you have one more trigger left. I do have one more or trigger four. left. No, five more. I have, five, I have five more triggers left. So. Seven crit. Seven crit. Four draw. What does that leave? 
Well, one stand trigger, just the. It, I do it a little bit to troll my friends, but then again, though, with, it, when, it, when it does come out, it tends to come out right when I need it, and it'll come out like on a dusty plasma that's already, you know, a 12k turns into a 17. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting with the stand. I mean, I've seen uh, it can it helps make the deck a little bit more unpredictable sometimes, like especially maybe if you draw this and you just like drop the shield on your opponent oh, so they yeah. see your own stands. So it can help. It's, it's a psychological opponent. factor at that point. It's, it's interesting. It's a it's a it's a little trolly, but it's interesting as well. Yeah, and then uh, starter. Um, we've, we've got two. I run. I mostly run Spark Kid. I can easily just flip it out because I keep it with me a lot of the times to Saishin. Saishin's not bad. Saishin's good if you go first. And if you want to, you know, I don't have a good Vanguard, so you don't. Or I don't have a good starting Vanguard, so you don't get one either. Just yeah. blow up, blow it up. Well, it's one reason too. Like you run a four to Rio. You oh, combo yeah. it with the combo. Kit, yeah, that's weird. I was gonna get back to that. Yeah, it combos really well with Garuda because you search out your grade three, you want to put that damage. Yeah. Um, so it just, I mean, you run eight grade three, so this should hit more often than not. So yeah. Consistency helps. It, it, this deck is very consistent. You know, I very rarely miss grade. I very rarely get stuck. Um, it's a generic build. I I enjoy it. It's a fun. I've been, I've been playing it since the blood came out, and it's uh, enjoyable. It's been working pretty good. So, oh, man, I've been, so yeah. Any uh, final, any thought, final thoughts with the viewers before we uh, do anything else? Um, if you, if you play this deck, be out for blood. That's all I can say. Yep. Pun intended. Final words from Lord Half again. Well, as always, guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It's always appreciated. Thumbs up. Some work. But yeah, uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you guys again for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Always.